Okay guys, so we need to talk. I don't know if you've seen it, but a few days ago, I made a video about the Cyan Smooth 5 and the newly and finally released integration with Filmic Pro. And when I read the news, when I read that it finally is working, I was of course very excited and I downloaded Filmic Pro or I updated it rather and I connected it with my Smooth 5 and it was just not working at all. I tested it and just like a minute after that, I set up my camera and I made the video that you can see up there and that's also the video that I uploaded. And this video got a lot of traction and you know a lot of people commented on this video telling me like something has to be wrong with my unit or with my version because with their unit and with their setup it's working just fine. And I was just not sure like what was the problem because people said like Okay, I just need to, you know, delete the app and maybe open it again or just, you know, close it and open it again. And for me, I don't know why, but it just was not working at all. No matter what I did, I completely deleted Filmic Pro and, you know, it was just not working at all. And then after a few more hours of testing several different things, I found my mistake and I found out why my unit was not working. And the reason was, or the problem was, that my gimbal itself was not at the latest firmware update. To fix that, I just headed into the ZY Cami app that, as you guys probably know, I'm not a big fan of. So I just, you know, installed the app very quickly. I connected my Smooth 5 to the ZY Cami app and then the gimbal told me like, okay, for the gimbal itself, there is a new version, a new firmware update available. So then I just downloaded the new firmware. This took like a few minutes and then it was working just fine. So now all the different buttons, all the different options, you can change all the settings like shutter speed and ISO and focus and, you know, basically everything, you can change it just directly on the gimbal with pressing the different buttons. Also the FN button was now working. So Unfortunately, that was my mistake, so I'm very sorry to Filmic Pro and also to Cyan for, you know, saying that the update was not working properly because, of course, it was just my mistake and none of their. But just so that you know, none of these two companies are paying me, so everything that you hear on this channel is always 100% my true and honest opinion and that's also why I made this other video because I was just very upset myself because the Cyan Smooth 5 is my favorite gimbal and Filmic Pro is my favorite app you know to shoot some high quality videos and when they finally after half a year announced that the integration now finally works and then, you know, these were the results that I was getting. Of course, I was very upset, but I'm very happy that it is working now properly. So again, a sorry for that video. I did not want to upset anyone. So yeah, it's working now. I'm happy about that. And I can't wait to shoot some cool stuff with that setup because this setup is just really, really dope. In case you guys would like to learn more about smartphone filmmaking, you can check out the first link in that video description that will bring you to our totally free webinar where I share the top five secrets to shooting cinematic videos with your smartphone. But that's it for this quick video. Again, check out Filmic Pro, check out the Smooth 5. Both of them are just really nice now. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.